Yeah, I w was always really active as a kid. Um, growing up, like my parents had a ski school, so we were like on the mountain from like a really early age, um, always outside recreating, camping, all of that. But um, you know, middle schoolish started getting into um, basketball, volleyball, um, being really tall. It's kind of something that you know I really gravitated towards, and then you know played through high school and. Um, it got me to college, so I played four years in college, and um, it was really great. I mean, I think the, the system in that sense was really great for me, and gave me a path, gave me a lot of opportunities for, um, obviously, my education, and then, you know, going forward. Um, I had a similar background. I went through sports at a young age, played football, went through middle school, high school, played in college. A little different though for me, like I, I was good at, I was a good athlete, but I was more, I used to, I used to skate and I was into art and I was like, so it was a very, it was like a juxta, juxtaposition, if I can use that word. Like my body, my skills got me into college, but my mind and my, my spirit wasn't necessarily in that. Like I wanted to do these other things, um, but being in the system at the time, I couldn't do those things because I was supposed to be here at this time, do this at this time. And again, I'm super appreciative of the opportunity. And, for school, um, but with this pandemic, it's given it's, it's kind of taken taking the, the blinders off. And I'm like, my own kids, like, they don't have to do that. It's, it's very freeing to me to see that to see this happen because you don't have to be stuck in the system, you don't have to try to make you know, your life in the system, even though your mind or, you know, or your soul doesn't want to be part of the system. The, the, the crumbling of the system is a good thing um, for a lot of reasons.